Victoria Studios uh, from Sansa is Dr. Sandile Malinga. Good to have you, Dr. Malinga. Thank you very much for being on the program. Good morning, Leanne, and good morning to the listeners. W what is the aim and purpose of the National Space Program? Leanne, in 2008, uh, Cabinet approved the National Space Strategy uh, under which uh, Sansa has to perform and uh, implement the strategy. And what we are currently uh, doing is to conduct a consultative process, inviting the nation to, to participate in that process, whereby we are crafting a long-term project or a long-term plan uh, ranging from 10 to 20 years that will essentially give direction and shape the national space uh, program for the country. Here, we're looking at a, a number of programs that we want to embark on in the next 20 or so years in what we call Space Vision 2030, looking at uh, the applications that we'll need to have as a country to meet societal, uh, societal needs and the technologies that will be required to support that and the skills as well as the, 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 the interaction between different entities that are necessary to give effect to that strategy and programs. Now, what are the stages that have actually been completed so far and what still needs to be done? We started the whole process in November last year and we have so far had a number of uh, consultative processes and workshops where we've invited a number of expert groups and users of space uh, systems and applications from agriculture, water affairs, planning, uh, housing, and so on, and, and, and many other areas of application from municipalities who've participated in the forums that we've had. And the input that we've received has been uh, great, and we are grateful to the nation for participating. But we believe that uh, more could still be done, and we are inviting the general public to participate in this process uh, by coming to our website and registering on the website and interacting in the different uh, forums that we have, uh, both on Twitter and Facebook, and make whatever input related to the needs that the nation has, as well as any advice that we can receive to shape our national space program. All right, so those are the, I mean, it's, it's the social media that you, you like the public to get involved in the planning of the program. How else can they get involved on? By registering on our website, there, there is a, an online uh, consultative uh, workspace, uh, which we call Alfresco, which allows people to engage and to, to, to make suggestions, to interact with the experts that we have on, on, on in the forums that we have. Mm. And so people can engage at different levels and make an input in many forms. They can also write us emails and, and send us whatever input that they have that will strengthen uh, the National Space Program going forward. I, I, something I want to talk about, I, we'll talk a little bit more about this, but I think one of the biggest things that perhaps uh, could develop South Africa more and, and lead us into a place where we are seen as, as a leader when it comes to uh, space and everything that has to do with it is the SKA. Now, the wonderful thing that happened for us is that the, the advisory panel has now recommended that South Africa be the host of this. Of course, we are competing or bidding against Australia-New Zealand's joint submission for this mega telescope. What will this do for us if we do in fact win this, this bid? Well, if we do win uh, the, the bid, uh, which uh, the decision I'm made to believe will be taken in uh, April next month, that is, yeah, this will really uh, put South Africa in, in, in a different league in terms of uh, space science and astronomy in particular. Yeah. But yeah. not only that, you know, the, the, the technological advancement that will be uh, required to actually put the telescopes that are required, the training of students that will be required, the foreign direct investment that will go with the project itself will be huge. You know, when one talks about the amount of data that will have to be handled, it will shift the, the, the national capability in terms of data processing and general handling of data to a different level at, altogether. Yeah. And so if we were to get uh, the, 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 the bid and be successful, it will really, really leverage, uh, leverage our capabilities. Uh, I, I'm just reading a little bit more about it for those that don't know. This is a $2 billion project 
It will be made up of roughly 3,000 dishes that peer into the universe to find out about origins. And it would be just incredible if we get this here. So April, all ears waiting to find out if South Africa gets that. Now, something else that happened is last week we experienced a phenomenon with one of the biggest sunstorms happening uh, last week. P please explain this to us. What exactly was this? Well, the sun has an 11-year uh, cycle whereby the, the intensity of its activity increases every, every 11 years. And so we are in that uh, phase whereby the sun's activity is, is peaking in terms of activity. What exactly am I talking about? We are talking about solar flares. This is the sun, you know, it has loops on its surface which from time to time uh, explode or uh, wrap up, uh, snap up and in the process of doing that, uh, that they release uh, a huge amount of uh, energy to the extent about one can estimate it to be tens of millions of uh, what we know as an evol ev a volcano on earth and so it's very powerful mm -hmm. and allied to that there, there's radiation which uh, is released uh, and it can affect uh, a number of technologies on earth from navigation communication, uh, your GPS as an example, as well as power distribution and uh, aeroplanes, particularly those that are across uh, polar are flying. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much for talking to us. And uh, it's always interesting. It interests me as to what happens out in outer space and uh, South Africa's development with all of us. Dr. Sandili Malinga from the South African National Space Agency, thank you very much for talking to us on Morning Live.